Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting a video on circles and shaded region questions. These are pretty cool questions and most students like them and I've also seen them on the SAT. Before we start, if you are in my class, I'd like you to take out your chapter 3 packet and fill in numbers 7 and 8 as I do them here on the TV. I'd like you to do them into your packet. Um, and there's a few things that you need to know before we start, and those are listed at the bottom of the page. The first thing that you need to know is that all radii within the same circle are congruent. The second thing you need to know is that the area of a rectangle is found by multiplying the base times the height. And the third thing you need to know is that the area, the R, the area, I've spelled it wrong, so I'm going to add the A, the area. The area of a circle is found by multiplying pi times r squared. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what we can do with this. So as I look at number 7, I see we've got a circle that's like stuffed inside of a, of a rectangle or maybe it's a square. And I'm supposed to find the area of the shaded region which, which is represented by those, by those dots. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use the fact that all radii within a within the same circle are congruent. And I'm going to reorient the radii. Right now we've got this radius 7, but it's like jutting up on an angle. What I'm going to do is reorient the radii by making it horizontal and going straight across. Check this out. Now, how long is that radius that I just drew in red? Well, since all radii within the same circle are congruent, that radius is going to be 7 units long. Now, I'm going to do the same thing by starting in the center and jutting across to the left horizontally. That also has a length of 7. And this tells me something pretty important. That tells me from all the way left to all the way right is a distance of 14 units. So I'm going to go ahead and notate that on my diagram. Okay, starting again at the center, I'm going to do the same sort of thing with the radius, but this time I'm going to go straight up and straight down vertically. That orange radius would be 7 and I'll go straight down and that radius would also be 7. And what this means is from top to bottom is also a length of 14. Because the dimensions are the same of this rectangle we actually have a square. And I'm going to find the area of that square by multiplying base times height or 14 by 14. This product is 196. If you need your calculator, that's fine. The next thing that I'm going to find is the area of the circle that's been stuffed inside of this square. So I'm going to start by writing down the area formula. Area equals pi r squared, which is area equals pi times blank squared. And the blank is reserved for the radius. And the radius of this circle is 7. Now, 7 squared is 49. So the area of this circle is 49 pi. Now, here's the conceptual question. If we want to get the area of the shaded region, which isn't quite the area of the square, and it's not quite the area of the circle, think about how we might get just that region that's represented with those dots. What I'm going to do is start with the area of the square, which would be too much area, and then I'm going to peel away the area of the circle. And by peeling away, I mean subtraction. So the area of the shaded region, which I'm going to identify as A sub SH, area of the shaded region, is going to be represented by the area of the square minus the area of the circle. More specifically, it's going to be 196 minus 49 pi. Now it's tempting for students to want to combine those two numbers together, but a non-pi number and a number that contains a pi are considered unlike terms and they cannot be combined. It would be like having 196 minus 49x and those two terms couldn't be combined nor can these two terms be combined. So the final answer here is 196 minus 49 pi. And just to be safe I'll write this on the answer line. Okay let's move to number 8 which is the same exact concept but it's a little bit more complicated because instead of having one circle stuffed inside of a rectangle there are three circles stuffed inside of a rectangle but the process is going to be the same and that is to start by reorienting those radii instead of them jutting off on angles as they are I'm going to make them go horizontal and vertical 
So I'll start by redrawing them horizontally. And each of those radii is going to have a length of 5. And that's because all radii within the same circle are congruent. Okay, now the implication with this calculation is that from left to right is going to be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 5 six times. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the whole width of this rectangle is 30 units. Now I'm going to reorient the radii vertically by starting at the center of each circle and drawing a line segment up and a line segment down. Because all radii are congruent, I know that these orange segments that I've just drawn in are also going to be 5. So the height of this rectangle going from top to bottom is going to be 5 plus 5 or 10. Modeling what I did from problem number 7 to problem number 8, I'm going to start by finding the area of this rectangle which can be found by multiplying base times height or 30 times 10. This product is 300. The next thing that I'm going to do is remind myself what the area formula for a circle is. And that formula is pi r squared. I'm going to rewrite that formula with a blank for r. And I'm also going to spill a little bit into my heading here, but that's life. I'm running out of room. Now, what is the radius of one of these circles? If you said 5, you're correct. The radius is 5, making the overall area for one of those circles 25 pi. Now, the thing is, there's not just one circle. There are three of them. So three circles would be multiplying 25 pi by 3 and getting a total area for the circles of 75 pi. Okay, so now I've got to put these two ideas together to get the area of the shaded region or the area of the region with the dots. So I'm going to start with the area of the rectangle and then I'm going to subtract away the areas of the three circles. Okay, so once again the area of the shaded region will be found by getting the area of the rectangle and subtracting from it, subtracting away the three circles. So the area of the rectangle was 300 and the area of the three circles was 75 pi. So I'm going to write 300 minus 75 pi. And then I'm going to ask myself, can these two numbers be combined? The answer is no. A 300 and a 75 pi, those are considered unlike terms. One has a pi, one doesn't have a pi, and those cannot be combined. So the final answer, which I'll write on the answer line, is 300 minus 75 pi. Now after giving you these two examples, I hope you now know how to find the area of a shaded region when it involves a circle stuffed inside of a square or a rectangle.